making a statement, but there are people who are afraid of our abilities. They want to get user-friendly candidates. All right? So she had herself won the case, and so this is a matter where the state itself has gone to appeal. They went to court to appeal in uh, Kiambu court. We have said this before. And then uh, after that appeal, they have not even prepared to prosecute the appeal, meaning they are not. Lakini wanajua to kikutana namna hii, it's also important. We have a cup of tea, we celebrate, and sometimes even meetings can speak volumes. Like President Uhuru has learned the secret of the power of silence. So we celebrate him. We celebrate him because all we are saying right now, everybody, including the President Uhuru, is concerned about this matter of IBC. So William Ruto should come out of the slumber and do something. The country is waiting for him. You know, they, they tell their, their, their proxies. Because the fellow, the fellows who have gone to court are the proxies of order. Tell your proxies to withdraw the case. Name within the next one week the panel and then the next uh, few months we should have in place an IBC. Amengine ya poroja atime naenda kukutana na ruto usiku. Yosimu tuwa ina hiyo. Nikitaka kuona ruto ntazema kwa Kenya. I'm going to meet him. Ni muambie organize IBC and I'm not saying I'm meeting him. Yeah, I'm not meeting on IBC, it is his responsibility to do it. But they organized as a judge in Kiambu who had to give injunction, an injunction, an order to make sure that the names are not submitted to him. As simple as that. And my brother Weta knows he's part of that conspiracy. He's a very good friend of mine. He should jump out of that conspiracy. Wapiana ya majina. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People of all types of speculation. <laughs> yeah. Some others say I've been going to state out as midnight. Our shindo sana. Our niwaongo a job. Eh. For us, we are very clear on the way forward. In fact, we propose to issue uh, a statement pre Jamhuri. Uh, pre Jamhuri statement. I know that some people in the media. I've been saying, oh, we are issuing statement there, but we will do a mixture. We will talk when it is necessary to be able to put these people on their toes. Because they are obviously a lying regime. And they have been found out. We are calling them out. Just in the, in the matter of IEBC, we've been very clear, right? That uh, when Azumir was given 48 hours to forward the name of the candidate, to be in the panel that to constitute the IBC, we add to adhere to the the strict strict um, timeline by the the court, and we gave the name of Dr. Kokimoli. I think she'll be issuing a statement. But there are people who are afraid of our abilities. They want to get user-friendly candidates. All right. So she had herself won the case, and so. This is a, a matter where the state itself has gone to appeal. They went to court to appeal in uh, Kiambu court. We have said this before. And then uh, after that appeal, they have not even prepared to prosecute the appeal, meaning they are not even interested. Speaker Wetangula had one week after Azumio complied with that directive of the court to forward the names to President William Ruto. But they gerrymandered in order to allow the fellows they have given the mandate to, to, to delay the whole process to move to court. So I, I was amazed. I don't know whether the judge you talked about this. And it's unfortunate that they didn't seem to have the facts. So this is a fact. State capture continues, even of the judiciary. The fact they are not even able to move this uh, process forward. So we are calling them out that this is a William Ruto strategy to make sure that there is no IBC and therefore continue even the matter, very important matter of the uh, independent electoral boundaries. You see there was a time limit within which 
uh, we should now come up with a review of our boundaries. Under NADCO, we had proposed, I think, 15 years. And if they had taken the time to marshal the whole parliament, they like they marshaled when they were impeaching a Chagua, right? They marshaled more than two thirds. They should have marshaled the same to make sure that constitutional amendis, amendment was done so that the country will not be in a crisis, a constitutional crisis. So we joined with the church. The church has called out, I think they gave them 12 days. To <laughs>